Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna make a cool geometric flower petal design. <laughs> Anyways, it's gonna be really easy and fast, I promise. Um, let's say I really like the shape of this petal, so I brought this image into Photoshop. I mean, I'm an illustrator, illustrator, not Photoshop. And I'm gonna trace this, half of this actually. So I'm gonna go grab my pen tool and start drawing the shape of this petal that to me is so pretty. And I'm gonna do half of it. So this is half of the petal. I'm going to hold down the Alt or Option key, click and drag to make a duplicate. I'm gonna go to Object, Transform, um, Reflect. I'm gonna reflect it horizontal, press OK, and then I'm gonna match these and line these up to get a perfect match. Let's see if they properly align. Almost. Doesn't have to be perfect, I'm just weird for this stuff. Right, when you're there, I guess, I'm gonna re remove the uh, background because we don't need it anymore. We have our pretty petal shape. Um, you can adjust your stroke to whatever you want. You can change the width profile. I'm gonna go with something like this and I'm gonna add it a little bit so you get this like better effect. <laughs> I mean, more realistic. Anyways, select both of your lines. We're gonna go to Object, Blend, Make. We love the Blend tool. Blend tool is our BFF. Go back to Object, Blend, Blend Options. We're gonna select Specified Steps, and then we're gonna add a bunch of those, as many as you want. You can see the preview. Make sure that the preview box is checked so that you can see what is happening to your design. Anyways, adjust the number of steps to whatever makes you happy, press OK. And you got your first pedal, pretty nice. Um, now I'm gonna press R on my keyboard, otherwise you can just go over here and find the rotate tool. You're gonna hold down Alt or Option key and click on the center point of your um, flower. So this is gonna be it. This uh, window will pop up. You can choose the angle of your petal. I'm gonna go with 40 and then I'll see what, what happens. And make sure to not press OK, but press copy so that it's gonna rotate it and uh, copy it. So that's what you're gonna get. You can now just press Command D on Mac to just repeat the move you just made. So that you don't have to repeat the whole rotate thing. It's automatically going to rotate it. And you get this amazing, amazing geometric uh, flower thing. You can also go back and change. Let's say I want them to be a little more further apart. I'm going to go with probably 50. And then Command D. Now, how pretty is this? You can get some insane patterns um, by just doing this trick. It's so cool. I promise you won't regret it. Go try it out right now. It's amazing. And it'll save you so much time. And anyways, um, you can also still change uh, the stroke options, the stroke colors, the blend modes or all that stuff if you want. So it's still fully editable and in vector. Yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you like my content. Um, I'm putting lots of effort <laughs> into these and making them every single day. Um, but it's what I like to do, so I'll keep doing it. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, go take a look at my Instagram if you want as well. I'm almost on 10K on there. Um, I post daily designs, so it's still really cool design stuff if you're interested in that. 
And uh, yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.